Mystery segment. My name is Vanessa Ndavi and today I'm joined in the studio by Jackie Mgido, who is a Hollywood celebrity makeup artist. And for those who don't know her, you're just about to. Thank you so much, Jackie. Thank you. This is exciting. I can't wait. <laughs> Take us back uh, and tell us about your childhood. So I grew up in Africa. I'm an African. And I grew up on a little mini farm where I was super lonely and all I had was a TV, my imagination, and a lot of color and drawing. And I loved to draw. And with that, you know, being interested in transformation got me to introduce myself to a different world. Which is getting to U.S. now. Yes. How did you even end up going to start your business back in the U.S.? So when I moved to the United States, as our African parents would love us to do, I was supposed to go to college, get a job, work for somebody, and my life was set, right? But I decided that I was going to go to school to learn how to do makeup. I first started with cosmetology, but found out very quick that it had nothing to do with makeup and everything to do with hair. And that was because there really weren't any schools in Washington, D.C. that were exposed to makeup at that time because my makeup was specifically special effects, character makeup, and beauty makeup. So my husband decided, you know what, why don't we go to the place where you really learn how to do that TV makeup. and um, you know, video makeup. And we moved to Hollywood and I went to a school called MUD where I took a master class in special effects. How did you even end up being a celebrity makeup artist? That's something everyone will dream of. Right. How did you land there? Well, the How did it start? The school was affiliated with a lot of studio. It's specifically for Hollywood makeup. And I worked extremely hard as a student. You I, must have. Oh yeah, I did. I was like, I need to do this. <laughs> I interned a lot. And with that, I ended up working for free on a movie that was a low-budget movie. Like, it was about $500,000 at that time. I mean, it's still a low-budget movie in Hollywood. And um, I worked with my first celebrity, who was Alonda Jones. How was that? <laughs> amazing. Amazing. It was such an amazing experience. Were you freaking out not to mess up? <laughs> oh, are you kidding? I didn't sleep the night before because I was so nervous. Nervous? So nervous. One, I was nervous because at that time, Alonda Jones was really popular for this commercial that he used to do. And then to have him in my seat, and he was very confident, very assertive, and I didn't really have that much experience. So it was pretty amazing. Maybe just to give uh, our viewers some of the celebrities that you've had the privilege to work yes. on their faces yes. would be the likes of Neil, mm -hmm. uh, Stanley Stallone. So this is Stallone, yes. So because there really weren't any schools in Washington, D.C. that were exposed to makeup at that time because my makeup was specifically special effects, character makeup, and beauty makeup. So my husband decided, you know what, why don't we go to the place where you really learn how to do that TV makeup. and um, you know, video makeup. And we moved to Hollywood and I went to a school called MUD where I took a master class in special effects. How did you even end up being a celebrity makeup artist? That's something everyone will dream of. Right. How did you land there? Well, the How did it start? The school was affiliated with a lot of studio. It's specifically for Hollywood makeup. And I worked extremely hard as a student. You I, must have. Oh yeah, I did. I was like, I need to do this. <laughs> I interned a lot. And with that, I ended up working for free on a movie that was a low-budget movie. Like, it was about $500,000 at that time. I mean, it's still a low-budget movie in Hollywood. And um, I worked with my first celebrity, who was Alonda Jones. How was that? Amazing. Amazing. It was such an amazing experience. Were you freaking out not to mess up? <laughs> oh, 
are you kidding? I didn't sleep the night before because I was so nervous. Nervous? So nervous. One, I was nervous because at that time, Alonda Jones was really popular for this commercial that he used to do. And then to have him in my seat, and he was very confident, very assertive, and I didn't really have that much experience. So it was pretty amazing. Maybe just to give uh, our viewers some of the celebrities that you've had the privilege to work yes. on their faces yes. would be the likes of Neil, mm -hmm. uh, Stanley Stallone, Sylvester Stallone, yes, Sylvester, uh, Snoop Dogg. Yes. Maybe you can give me any of the other names and tell us how was that. Well, I mean, I've worked. One, so I always wanted to work on, with Oprah, and I worked with Gail King, which. I ab absolutely love because for me it was like oh my gosh I'm just friend. if I'm working with Gail <laughs> King I've touched I, Oprah I, I'm, I'm, cl I'm close enough to get to Oprah I'm close enough to get to Oprah that was really amazing I mean a lot of the celebrities which I probably won't name everybody because just in case they watch this video you can always google it I, I miss somebody it's like you know when you win an award and you miss <laughs> and your you mother you and you miss your husband everyone. yeah so <laughs> I mean, a lot of the celebrities that I've worked with, they're all online. I mean, there's a whole list of it you can see from my resume. They've been, it's, it's, it's such an experience, an out-of-body experience, especially being African. Because it's such a, it's, it's, it looks like it's unattainable. And yet it is. So it's been amazing. It's who, an amazing was, who was the best one too? The most memorable, memorable one that you can never forget? So everybody is memorable, but for me, Sylvester Stallone. The reason why, because he's a legend. I mean, he was absolutely, absolutely amazing. You know, um, I used to watch uh, Rocky and not only was it significant in like your motivational movie, but every single person knows it. Like that's your motivation, that song, all you want to do is run, all you want to do is sing. Yeah. I mean, that for me was, was a life. And I knew everybody in Africa would relate. Would relate to that, because you all grew up watching him on movies and you're like, you're seated right next to me and I'm doing makeup for you, this is big. Oh, and the great part is, I'm sitting right next to him, I'm doing, or well, I'm standing right next to him, doing his makeup, and all he's fascinated with, so they know me in Africa? <laughs> and I'm like, ah, oh, duh. Everybody. Everybody knows Everybody you. Even in the villages, they know you, okay? They have your picture somewhere in a hut. <laughs> and for those who don't know, where is the home? Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe is my home, um, my beautiful country, which I love. I left there 29 years ago, and I invested in Zimbabwe about 10 years ago. Started a makeup company there. Started a makeup company. Now bring us back there. Yes. When did all this start from? Uh, actually, this is some of the products yes. that uh, belong to your makeup line. Yes. Maybe you can introduce us to them. But yes. first, tell us when did the makeup dream come from? So, ten years ago, I went to visit home, and um, I was actually supposed to invest in a company doing nails, and I don't even know why I was doing nails. And a friend of mine said, why don't you start doing makeup? And I said, no, I can't. And I was really afraid. And why? the reason why I was afraid is it's because it's that one thing that I, was, I felt I was really good at. And if I failed at it, then I failed in life. Mm. So I would say, it, I said to him, I don't know about this. I just want to start doing nails. Because for me, it was like, I'll just hire people to do nails. I'll be good to go. But that passion pulls you. And the more you want to do something different, the more that passion keeps coming into your face. Um, I wanted to bring other companies into Zimbabwe to start the makeup. But as I was looking through, nobody really had what I felt was good for Zimbabwe. And um, so, I, so I went and branded, got a branded company. And I also felt that they weren't carrying what I needed in Zimbabwe, what I thought that we would need because I was African myself. And, um, and then I got a chemist and we started, we started with this chemist that absolutely believed in me. I had no money. It's very expensive to start this business. Um, we started it on, on hope, <laughs> really, <laughs> hope and faith. That's really how we started this that whole company. That was your starting capital, because yes. that was my next uh, question. Oof, that capital. I mean, we took out my husband's retirement plan early. Like he's not really allowed to take it out. You can take it out in the States to buy a house or whatever when you're younger because they know that you're building on it. So we took it out and um, we started with that first and pretty much lost all that money. How many stores do you have in total right now? Or where can we get your products? 
you can get my products. We are, um, I have a studio in Zimbabwe. It's a makeup studio. And you can get it in there. And I'm in a, f a pharmacy in Zimbabwe as well. You can get it in there. And right now in Kenya, you can get it at LinkedIn's, at Junction, and Mamagina. That's how I say it. Yes. They took a leap of faith in me, and I'm in their stores. Maybe just show what your name is, uh, your makeup line is Jackie Mugido. Mm -hmm. You had to call it your name. Why would you, did well, you not think of any other name, and why this name in particular? So I started off in Zimbabwe as Volt Cosmetics, and there's a little story about that. The reason why I called it Volt is because I was so afraid, and I was opening up my Volt. I was opening myself to people, and that's why I called it Volt. But as I grew and as I got, you know, uh, a chemist and now we were looking for different ingredients to put in and it was making it more of me, I just kind of felt like every other little girl or every other woman that looked like me would relate, you know, they're not going, oh, vault, okay, and kind of putting their own vision of who yeah. owns the company. For me, it was like, listen, it's the brand, you see me. You see the brand. You see yourself, and that's that. How has business being, you being African and uh, living in the U.S. and also starting a business there, what are some of the challenges oh that you had to go through? Oh, my God. There's so many there's challenges. Many there's so many ones. good, and then there's so many bad. I mean, of course, the, the, the number one is finance. You know, it's my husband and I. Mm. We, we, we're financing this, and we've, we've spent close to a million dollars of our own money, you know? But um, I think the most challenging part is introducing the brand and people believing it's my brand. Mm -hmm. A lot of the times they're like, oh, is she branding the brand? And I'm like, no, this is literally my brand. I have a chemist. <laughs> you know, I sometimes go in there and look and, you know, help get this formulation together. Yeah. Um, the other challenge has been me being in the United States and coming to Africa, leaving my family, um, remote control managing mm. um, my stores, remote control managing employees. All those things play a really big part, but they're part of the process. You know, they're really part of the process. Um, what is the future for this brand? How far are we going with this um, makeup and all this? You know, I think the first thing for me that I've learned a lot in Africa and also being in Zimbabwe and being in Kenya is education. I am an educator. I love teaching. I know when I'm selling my brand, I'm teaching. And I, and I always fall into the whole teaching. And trying to get women or men to understand why they're wearing makeup is a big deal for me. So this brand is evolving not only into a pe the people's brand, but more into an educational brand. Not, not education as in school or whatever, mm. but education as in why they're wearing this brand and why this brand for that specific person. For that reason, for that specific person. What mm. is your first job in the U.S.? Uh, my first job in the U.S., I was a maid and a babysitter. Um, I was a housekeeper for this lady <laughs> who was actually pretty fascinating and funny uh, because I remember very clearly my parents used to always say to me, you never know where you're going to be in life, you never know who to treat what, you need to treat everybody the same and my maid is definitely not your maid. I didn't get it until I left, right? Because America is, a, and I call it an equalizer because everybody always thinks you get to America and everything is hunky-dory. Yeah. Um, not really. You know, sometimes you have to do what you have to do, but uh, I was a maid and it was a, it was a very humbling, humbling, very humbling. Describe Jackie. What keeps you going? Let's start from there. Um, what keeps Jackie going is faith, love. I love people. I love people. I can clearly tell um, that since you came in the studio, it's all <laughs> love, love, love. Yes. My endless, everlasting imagination. I have an imagination and a faith factor that sometimes I think I'm crazy. <laughs> I think it's just your personality and it's, it's an amazing, you're a people's person. Yes, I am definitely a people's person and I think most of all, really, it's love. This is, I'm just an embodiment of love. What does humble or being humble mean to you as a person? Um, 
acknowledging every single person that I meet, no matter where they come from, no matter what they're doing in life, and taking an interest in who they are. Because at the end of the day, I think human beings just want you to look at them, say hi, just, you know, hello, you know, I'm here, I'm on earth. That's what we're all about. That's how we connected. <laughs> so doing that, no matter where you are in life, you know, I always said, even if I become a gazillionaire, the fact is, people are people. Very humble. People are people. People and are people. for my makeup today, I'm sure you can see, I look absolutely stunning and gorgeous. And it's thanks to Jackie for Thank doing you. this magic to me. And maybe now for a viewer at home thinking, what is this makeup you're talking about? What products do you exactly ah. have? For you to know, once I get to Junction, uh -huh. and I want to look... Like Vanessa, I don't know, she has to do the makeup hassle. <laughs> or at least you can try and go home and try and do this yourself. So just take us through some of the products that Absolutely. you have in your store. Okay. So, that I so, can get in Kenya for now. Oh, okay, okay. So we have our 24 hour brow pen. Amazing. Waterproof. Look at this needle like point. Can I just tell you, you put on this brow pen. Look at this. It does not come off. For those people that don't have dexterity, that means that if you don't have a steady hand, the brow gel is your best friend. Look at the pigment. Look at how much you get in this. Okay, I always get into trouble for this because you buy it and you have it forever. Look at this angle brush. You just go in there and just use the angle brush. It is amazing. These are your brow products, which are awesome. You have what we call a brow fixer. For those people that are moving around with the squareness of the brow, it's a no-no. We need hair-like strokes. Well, this is going to be your best friend. It has a little bit of brush, and it's like hairspray for your eyebrows. Then we have the liquid liner. If you, know, if you don't have like a lot of lashes, this will just really emphasize your beautiful lashes. Look at this. Look at this. Needle-like. You can do a liner. Trust me, you can, because everybody's always like, can I do an eyeliner? I want a cat eye. This is your friend. Then we have our fabulous lip stains. Do you see how big these lip stains are? The best part, you could use it as a base for your eyeshadow. We have about 18 colors. Stays on, stays long, and guess what? You can use it for a very long time, for months. You're saving. Okay, every woman who is dark skin needs this product. This is what we call an orange corrector. It's a blush but it corrects the ashiness. I'm sure you all have heard of ashiness. That is when you have a gray coat to the skin, and a lot of times it happens either, either when you put on your moisturizer because it has an SPF in it, or you put on a foundation, it's just what it is. For us rich, dark skin girls, this is our friend. You always want that in your pocket. We have our concealers, really rich in pigment. There's only four colors because everybody under the sun has all those four, four colors, and it's very moisturizing. We have our shimmers that come in different stacks. Absolutely fabulous for all those people that love contouring. This eyeshadow palette, mm, God sent. I kid you not, this is the best thing ever. Not only can you use that with your fingers, but you can also have the shimmer effect in there and contour your nose with it. We have the loose powders in various colors. These have loads of pigment, and sometimes I don't like to wear foundation. Guess what, I just do the loose powder by itself. And talking about loose powder, this is a compact foundation powder mixed together. Amazing. Again, when I don't feel like putting on foundation, I just use this for a very light. Actually, today I didn't put on foundation. I just use my dual finish. OMG, this brush. Look at the dexterity in this. Not only can you use this as a powder foundation brush, but you can also use to apply your foundation, which are these. I'm so excited about these. So these are adaptable to the weather, meaning you can wear them when it's hot. It's also great for people that are oily. It's also great for people that are dry. You just mix a little moisturizer, you're good to go. Let me tell you what I'm really excited about. This weekend, we're showcasing our glass jars. And the reason why we changed this into a glass jars, because we wanted to look cute and I can afford it now. This is what happens, right? You evolve, you evolve with the time. We have our liners, super affordable, very high pigmented, amazing. And did I miss anything? Did I miss anything? Our angle brushes, but listen, come to Linton's and come and enjoy, because not only will we educate you about the product, 
you'll get to test the product for free. Come on down and find your color. What's going on Saturday? So on Saturday, you're meeting me, and what we're going to do is we're just going to test your foundation because a lot of people have a hard time. And we also going to talk about eyebrows because eyebrows are the center of everything. You think you can't do your brows? Come to Junction. And oh, and by the way, I love giving out stuff. So I'm going to be asking a lot of questions and giving away some lip stains. Why not? So they just need to remember this. The products are a Junction and Mama and Adina. Junction yes. and Mama Gina. And on Saturday, they can drop by and meet you. And you get they get to learn a lot because you they get, oh, teaching they get to people. learn a lot. And we have so much fun. And it's going to be from 11 to 3 p.m. So you can have time to do your thing. I actually want to go and have time to look for animals. You have time to go and look for animals. I have to look <laughs> for animals to, before I leave. When the event finishes. <laughs> I saw somewhere you, for me and many other people don't know, what is the difference between general makeup and TV makeup? Given that today, my look, is it only for TV or anybody at home is able to do this and look this great? So this is what I love about this question. So with our HG TVs right now, with high definition TVs, yeah. you can't really have anything so exaggerated because it will come to life. Now, there's a difference between movie TV movie makeup because movie makeup and TV makeup is very character driven okay so it can't be the same as YouTube makeup the YouTube makeup is more tutorial and more selling because you're selling a product right so in life people like to wear all kind of makeup so they like their little bit of exaggeration now if you are a chill out girl that doesn't really do much in life and just sits around then you probably want to put that stackable makeup that's if you like that mm. but if you're a working woman like me eyebrows lashes lips a little powder you're good to go <laughs> you're good to go um what do you think it takes to run a successful business um good employees a good team is super important if you don't have the driving team you can't do it alone you're not an island um time 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 i can't stress Time is super important. Understanding that every minute is every dollar. How do you manage to divide your time? Being a mommy of your little one, being a wife, being a boss, it's a lot. Yes. How do you balance all this? You just do it. You just do it? Just do it. There's no way of doing it? Just do it. There is no recipe to that because every single day is a different day. You just do it. You just do it. Mm -hmm. um, if you're not doing makeup today, Mm -hmm. as a business what would you be doing i don't know <laughs> <laughs> that is the honest truth i ask myself that every single day if i wasn't a makeup artist and if i wasn't doing this what would i be doing i have no idea you haven't thought about it i haven't thought about it because i think i was born to do this. this this is it this is it you know there's some people that are just born to do stuff you just this is my zone this, this is this is it i can't think of anything else any parting short that you'd like to share with us any words sorry last words last words um Consistency, I can't say that enough. Be consistent. Time, 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 time. Time, time, time. And be humble and love. And that's it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, thank you Jackie. Thank so much. This was and, amazing. You and guys are great. thank you for making time to come Absolutely. and meet me and do this amazing interview and get to know you better. I've been watching your videos on YouTube, but now I got the chance not only to speak to you, but also to get your hands on my and you made me look absolutely gorgeous. Thank you, and thank you, Kenya. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Kenya. So that's all we had for you this week. I wish you a lovely weekend. My name is Vanessa Ndavi, and do make sure you join me next week on Days Counter. Same time, same place. Bye-bye for now. Thank you.